interrupting your gooning session, but did you know that you can get heart disease from a bug bite? Chagas disease is caused by a protozoan parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi. The parasite can be transmitted to humans and other mammals via insect vector species. So basically their poop enters a wound, mucous membrane, or conjunctiva. That main insect vector is called triatomine, also known as kissing bugs because of their tendency to bite around the face. These bugs usually bite the host while they're sleeping, and they feed on their blood. Let's say that the bug uses your face as a personal toilet. If the host then touches the bug bite and transfers those feces to their eyes, nose, or mouth, then you might get infected. Other forms of infection include organ transplants, mother to child, blood transfusions, or contaminated food. It's quite serious. More than six to seven million people worldwide are infected. And though it is endemic to 21 Latin American countries, it's on the rise in the United States as well. The US has found local transmission in over 30 states. While it's still rare in the United States, it's likely that already 300,000 Americans are infected with it. The main problem with Chagas disease is that it doesn't show symptoms initially. It can take up to years or even decades for symptoms to show up. So Chagas disease has symptoms that are divided into two phases acute and chronic. Acute symptoms show up when you initially get bitten. It can be at the site of the bite or swollen eyelids. You can also get things like fevers, chills, loss of appetite, body aches, and fatigue. 20 to 30% of those infected get chronic symptoms. These chronic symptoms include cardiac problems such as arrhythmia and even heart failure, as well as damage to the digestive tract. If you think you might have gotten bitten by a kissing bug, go to the doctor immediately because treatment in early phases is very effective and can help you prevent some of those chronic symptoms. There's not much we can do to prevent it, unfortunately, because no vaccine exists. The best way that we can prevent it is preventing bug bites altogether, especially if you're from one of these 21 endemic countries or if you're gonna visit one of those countries. Because many people don't get symptoms when they experience this bug bite, a lot of people don't even realize they have Chavez disease until it's too late and complications show up. So remember, stay safe, stay informed, and wash your hands.